Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Palmer Ranch. Let's check out this model. But again, before we do, right there's the link. Right there is my QR code. You could scan with your mobile phone and it will take you straight to my app, completely free. You will receive home straight from the MLS before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Let's check out this one. So, we are up here at Palmer Ranch and we are on the two-story side. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Cedar, which is part of the Crest Collection. Really quickly, just wanna spin so you can see we are up in the northeast side of the valley. Really pretty with the mountains. Now, HOA here is 39 a month. It is not gated. If you want gated, you have to go to the other side of the community, which is the single story. HOA is a little bit higher. The homes are just a bit more. But before we get into this one, like I say in all my new construction tours, if you are thinking about buying a new home, you want to buy new, you are considering buying new, call me first. Before you fill out information online, before you speak with the builder, before you go into the office, speak with the associates to check out the models. Because if you don't bring me the first time you go, you're going to work directly with the associates and they don't represent you. They actually represent the builder. They have the fiduciary responsibility to the builder. They're going to facilitate the transaction, help you along the way, but they don't represent you. So if you want representation and fun fact, the builder pays the realtor fees. You don't. So give me a call. All my info down below. This one today is the Cedar. This is a Taylor Morrison community. This is a two story, four bed plus loft, two and a half bath, two car garage. They even have the optional outdoor living space. This one is 2,002 square feet and it starts at 385, 900. Now coming on in, I do like this already. Do me a huge favor and make sure to hit the like button. It really, really helps the channel out. So if you could do me that huge favor, make sure to hit the like button. Also, if you are new, consider subscribing. I try to put new tours out every single day. So right here we have our two car garage. They always keep them locked. Unfortunately, I can't go in, but it's kind of funny. I wonder if they did the six foot eight doors. Oh no, it's really funny. They optioned up and did the eight foot doors throughout the home. Those are an optional upgrade, but for some reason, they did the six foot eight door, which is standard in the garage. But let's spin around, check out the rest of the house. So let's go ahead and go on upstairs. I do like how open this is. And we'll come on back down, check out living, kitchen, dining. We'll even go out back and check that out. It is a little toasty today, but we'll go see it. It is a pretty backyard. So right off the bat, you can tell flooring is upgraded. They did a couple upgrades in here. I'll point them up as we go. But this bathroom, I'm gonna be honest, I know Rich and American does something different or something similar where you kind of come up two or three steps and then you come in. So powder room right here. We have our toilet, we have our pedestal sink. It's pretty good size. There is a lot of space, but it's just, it's not as bad as other ones I've seen. Let's leave it that way. We have our mirror, we have pedestal sink. I'm gonna spin so you can see it's, I've been in other ones that feel more claustrophobic. That's a six foot eight door. So it's mm, just over seven foot ceiling in here. It feels a little cave-like, but I know the other one I went to before, they had done really dark, dark finishes in there and it just felt even more claustrophobic. You're gonna want lighter colors in there. So coming on up, again, if you have any questions whatsoever, give me a call. Again, all my info down below. So which way do we wanna go? We'll go this way. But right here, right first drawer, we have our linen closet. So storage right here it is a little small, but it is still nice having that extra storage. And let's come on down the hall into our loft area. So we have our loft. Oh, oh, this is kind of cool. So we have a bedroom here. We have our loft. We have another bedroom here. We'll head in. You know what, actually, let's start at the bathroom. So right here, we have our upstairs bathroom. This is gonna service all three bedrooms plus our loft. It looks like these are just the standard cabinets. Yep, with the bumper. If you want soft closing, I always recommend go to Home Depot, go to Lowe's. The builders really charge you a lot for those soft closing hinges, but this is the lower height countertop. This is standard. This is a cultured marble. We have our undermounted sinks with our faucets right here. I, I don't even need to say it. I know, I know, I know. We have our medicine cabinet. It's funny, more and more builders are getting away from them. 
and they're almost charging you if you want to back in but it is nice we have double vanity we have our toilet and you can see this bathroom's a bit wider than normal maybe three to four inches and it is pretty well lit i know one of my biggest things that i always complain about is lighting inside houses you have one two one above each sink and then you have another one above the shower so we have our tub shower combo this is a fiberglass composite material i believe you can option up to stone with them a lot of builders one in particular has no options whatsoever we have our shower head we have our soap shelves we have our tub valve and filler nice and we have our shower <laughs> towel rack in a decent location but all in all very nice like this bathroom and this is kind of cool how you go through the loft into this bedroom i'm going to back up just really quickly so i don't have to spin around this loft i'm just looking at all the rooms it's the same size as the bedroom if you include the walkway so the area itself like the usable area is a little tight but i'll come back to it once i come out of this bedroom just wanted to give you a heads up on that so first bedroom and we've set it up as a workout room i know a lot of people especially last year had to go and work out at home i ended up buying a peloton it is fun it is tough but oh goodness it is it's difficult so options i'm going to point out they did the electrical package with the can lighting i promise there's four normally you're only going to get the pre-wire cap you're not going to get a ceiling fan so you can add whatever sort of light fixture you want later on we have our two-door slider and if you want more closet space, you move that bar and shelf up and add a second one down below. Pretty standard size bedroom. I'm guessing, mm, is it 10 by 10? Probably 10 by 10. And it's always difficult to see things without our bed in here. You could fit, you know, full size bed, two nightstands, a dresser. It will fit all of it. It will just be a little bit on the tighter side. And then just also because these are eight foot ceilings, it's not gonna feel as big as some of those other rooms that have the nine foot ceilings. I love this, all the woodworking. I love the mirrors. If you didn't know, my father's actually a carpenter. And back before my first job, when I was a slave laborer, the child laborer, I used to work at a shop all the time, but really cool furniture pieces. We have our window. Now you can't do this as a bedroom, no option for that. This would be really small if you did that, but it works as a loft. I know a lot of people are gonna like this setup, especially if you wanna keep the downstairs really nice and clean, you can do that and have this a little bit more informal. Upstairs, second bedroom. This bedroom is nice. This is a bigger bedroom than that first one. Full size bed, sorry about the lighting, sun's starting to set. We have one nightstand. You could fit another one on this side, but it's kind of cool that they didn't. The bed has uh, pull drawers in it. One standard window, two that open. Again, they did the electrical package. I promise there's four cans in the ceiling and they did the pre-wire cap. But what's cool about this bedroom, there's this bump out. So if you wanna put the dresser there, if you wanna put a desk there, this room's a bit bigger than that first one and it also feels longer across. I'm just gonna come over here so you can see everything. There is a lot of glass in this uh, room. There's a lot of windows, which makes it really nice, really bright. And then again, we have our closet. So coming on out, let's check out what we have down the hall. Oh, well, first we have our last of our secondary bedrooms. So coming on in. Oh, this is cool. So office space. Now, this is very similar to that first bedroom we were just in. They did the can lighting. There's your pre-wire cap. One window that opens, one that doesn't. And I love all of this. If you didn't know, I actually have a bioengineering degree and I love like all this mechanical stuff. I love this room. Really, really cool. Cool bookshelves, cool desk. I know some people just watch the channel for like inspiration, remodel, redecorate. We have our closet and that closet looks to be a bit small. Yeah, if you remember, we have the linen little closet, that little tiny one on the other side of that. Let me know down in the comments below, would you like the linen closet or would you wish this closet was a full size closet? Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like closet space might be important, more important than linen space, but let me know what you think down in the comments. Leave a comment on what you think. So coming on down, you can option up to railing right here. They put the cap on it. So normally it's just gonna be um, 
the textured finish on it. They put the wood cap on it, which is awesome. If you don't know and you just have the textured uh, color on it, it's going to get dirty when people start holding onto the railing with their hands. It just picks up the oils, but really nice, just easy, easy, simple fix. Put the wooden cap on it. Right here we have our laundry room, and this is kind of cool. This is a full width door. It's not standard, so it's 36 instead of the 30 to 32 inch. Right here we have our laundry room, and lots of options in here. Flooring option, those op uh, <laughs> Those uppers are an option. Normally it's just gonna be a shelf. And then usually what you're gonna see is just big open space, which could be nice if you wanna use it uh, like as a hamper area for storage, but they did the lowers with the folding area and they did the uppers on this side. There's a lot of storage. I feel like with this much cabinet space, you almost don't need that linen closet down the hall. I don't know, let me know what you think. I don't know if you can add a sink with them. That would be a nice option though, but Really, really nice laundry room. Coming into the master. So we have two windows that open. There's a couple options in here. They did the tray ceiling. They did the can lighting package. Again, you'll just get a pre-wire cap, but nice size bedroom, not overly big, but not cramped. Again, nice dresser. I'm gonna come over here so you can see, you could easily fit a chair or something, little sitting area over there, a little reading nook. King size bed, two nightstands, it's good size. I know sometimes these master suites look like living rooms. They're massive. You almost don't need to go downstairs and see everyone, but nice, nice room. We spin on back. I do believe you can even add a door here if you want. I know some builders, and I know a lot of people always question that. Why is there not a door in the bathroom? I do believe with this builder, it's like a $200 option. You can put a door that will open and close, or what you could do is you could put the barn door. Couple different things you could do. Right here, coming on in, ooh, we have our Vegas window. <laughs> so I know I always joke about the windows if they're not privacy glass. Hey, it is Vegas, but you might not wanna put on a free show. I'll get over there in just a second, but it's kind of funny also, our towel rod's way over here. So, spinning on in, I will be honest, it feels just a little narrow right here, but we have our vanities. Again, I believe these are the standard. They usually have like this brown color and then like the blonde color. And then they have three different levels of cabinets. So we have our undermounted sink. Again, culture marble, same countertops. We do have our medicine cabinet. And overall, not bad. So if we spin on over, normally what you're going to get here is a tub shower combo or just a shower, I believe and this is the first option up. Normally you're gonna get that and then with a linen closet, so I'm guessing the shower would be here, linen closet here. They opted for the separate tub, separate shower, and then you can go full-blown mega shower. Now again, this is a composite material. It's fiberglass composite. We have our tub, we have our Vegas window, we have our shower. And if you want, you could even option up for cultured marble or even tile. So. We have a little soap shelf. Um, I wish just a little simple fix. Move this glass to here. And then you have a full row for soaps and shampoos. If you know I like my soap niches, but ooh, it's very close. It's nice. It is really nice. Just also, I feel like most people are probably gonna put their towel here instead of having to tromp across the whole bathroom and potentially slip and fall on these nice floors. We have our toilet and we have a very dark closet. <laughs> These models, they leave the lights on all day, all night. There is a second light right there. It's just burnt out, they need to change it. And I feel like I would even change that to a brighter wattage, but really nice size closet. Single bar, single bar, single bar, and storage, all the shelvings. So, I mean, there's a lot of space right here. You could really do this nice if you hired like California Closet or Closets Las Vegas or Closet World or even the Container Store. There's a lot of options to be had with this one. Again, I, I love the furniture in here. I know it's a little too woodsy for me right now. Ooh, when I have the mountain cabin, mm, mm, love it. Now let's go ahead and head on downstairs. Now again, if you have any questions about anything you've seen in this tour or you wanna see a new home, wanna see a resale, Give me a call again, all my info down below. And if you could do me that huge, huge favor, make sure to hit the like button. It really, really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. So before we check out this kitchen, 
before it is very woodsy in here just everything boom boom even right here even the table let's go outside real quick it is a little windy so they did the optional 12 foot slider they added the patio cover those are both optional upgrades structural upgrades that you can do when you do that you'll also get the pavers but if you don't do this patio cover you will not get pavers here you'll get like a little step out ledge and everything else will be dirt so you need to budget for the backyard when buying new now average backyard out here is somewhere between 12 and fifteen thousand dollars this is a nice size yard you could fit a pool and spa back here so if you put a pool spa heater figure forty thousand dollars plus before landscaping they add up relatively quickly i mean and you could easily spend sixty thousand dollars on a backyard with a pool spa heater this is pretty this is nice but it's not crazy they do have all the rock they have the landscaping they have some pavers they have a fire pit it looks like it's gas so mm, maybe a hair over 15 but coming on back in before we check out that kitchen right here we have one two three four five six person dining table and it's a really nice size but it doesn't feel like it just eats up the whole space you have plenty of room to walk around on this side plenty of room to walk around on that side and still plenty of room on this side this is a nice size dining area because even right here there's still a good amount of space you may want to scoot the couch up mm, six inches but one two three four five six windows plus the slider there's a lot of glass in this house nice sitting area just it flows well you have this huge open area right here so right here they did do another electrical upgrade right here normally you're not going to get can lighting in the living space you'll get them above the dining area but coming on in here i'll spin around so you can see it from this angle it's very open down here the only thing that may be a little odd which i'll hear is maybe the bathroom and i know people are already going to say the pantry because that looks small but right here very nice living space it's open let me see if i can back up a little more so you can see everything Right here coming on into our island we even have a little display area and we have our overhang mm, you might be able to fit four bar stools in there i wish i love how open it is right here but i wish the countertop came out just a bit more because there's not a lot of counter space over there and the island although it is nice size mm, if we came out to even where the door starts you could fit another bar stool you'd have extra counter space it's really nice though don't get me wrong, I really like it. While we're here, let's check out, ooh, wait. You know what? I think this is coat closet and this is pantry. Interesting, so we do, we don't, I mean, if you needed more pantry space, you could get rid of the coat closet and have double pantry. That could be an idea. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys use your coat closet? Um, I don't know. I feel like it would be nice to have two pantries. If we spin over here, they did do the island upgrade we have our cabinets below we have our stainless steel dishwasher you're going to get the dishwasher the oven and the microwave you're not going to get a fridge you can order it through the builder they do charge you quite a bit more it's usually smarter to buy it not through them right here we have our undermounted sink this does look like the standard sink if we take a look here's our view and they did add one more electrical option right here those are pre-wire caps for our pendant lights. Super cool. They already have it installed. But again, that is a additional cost. I don't think it's too bad. It's a couple hundred bucks. But again, nice thing is you can see everyone in the couch. You can see the TV. You can see the dining room. You can see all the way out in the backyard. I know the light is just blowing out the camera. If you had a pool out there, you can sit here washing dishes, seeing everyone out at the pool. Really nice and open. Spinning back around. So again, I believe standard cabinets, 100%. The stone is slightly upgraded. They did do a backsplash on it. Do we have, usually they do. I believe there's a, a phone outlet over there. These are the 36 inch uppers. They do have as like one of their upper end packages for the cabinets. You can get 42 inch if you so choose. If we come on back down right here, this outlet even has USB. Oh, there's our phone line right there. So if you wanna add a landline, you can. Right here, we have our oven, we have our five burner cooktop, and we have our microwave. Now you can see right here that it will vent outside. And I know some people have asked, what does that mean? 
that means that pipe is going out. Either it's gonna go, it's kind of funny that they actually put the upper up here when it goes out that way, which is also strange because the garage is right there. Huh. But if you see that pipe, that means it vent outside, it doesn't recirculate in. We have more storage. It's kind of strange how they took it all the way back there, but I get why you put more displays. But as far as like usable space, you can't really use that as cooking space because it's way back by the mic or the refrigerator. We have our stainless steel refrigerator and we have what I can only assume is our pantry. Oh, they have it locked. <laughs> Of course, they probably have the brains of the house, the AV, all that kind of stuff, or they're just putting storage stuff in there and they don't want people taking a peek, which is unfortunate, but you can kind of see, this is, it's pretty small. It's about the same size as that coat closet. All in all, pretty nice. I do like the downstairs a lot. It is very, very open. Let me know what you think about this one. Mm, it's nice. Do you like how open this spot is? Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please give me a call. Do not hesitate to reach out. Again, I have to go with you the first time you see them in person. Don't forget that when you go check out the models. Again, all my info down below. If you could do me that huge, huge favor, make sure to hit the like button. Again, it really helps out the YouTube channel tremendously. If you could also do me that huge favor and subscribe, if you wanna stay up to date, also hit the notification bell. I try to put new tours out every single day. As always, Thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.